Hey, Facebook family, it's Glenda. I am in the mood for some broccoli salad. I got this on my mind. You know, some of the best food I've ever ate has been at church potlucks. Oh my goodness, the best cooks in the world have came to church and brought their favorite dishes. And one of those dishes that I liked was broccoli salad. It's actually not that hard. You just have to have the right ingredients. So the ingredients to make the broccoli salad are gonna be broccoli and red onion and cranberries. We have sunflower seeds and bacon bits. That is all the main elements. And then we're gonna make a nice little yummy dressing that goes over it and gives it kind of a sweet, tangy, sweet, sour, tangy taste. It is so good. So first of all, I just chopped up all this broccoli. There's six cups of broccoli in here. And I made it little, cause you're thinking of bite size for salad, right? We wanna have little bitty ones. I might've could even took it down a little bit more. Today's a beautiful cold day. What's it like where you're at? Leave me a comment and tell me, is it snowing where you're at? <laughs> is it nice? We have beautiful sunshine, but it is definitely cold. It's cold. So we're gonna put the broccoli, then I said third cup of red onion. Okay. And then a half a cup of cranberries. I already got this measured out, I'm trying to be more, but like be better on my videos, right? This is a quarter cup of uh, sunflower seeds and a half a cup of bacon bits. All righty, so we're just gonna toss all that around. My hands are clean and you can't see what I'm doing, can you? There we go. Just toss all that around. It makes a really pretty salad and it's just good. That's all I can say. I never have forgotten this salad. Never once in a while, I'll be like, oh man, I remember. That's so good, right? <laughs> so, here we go. We got that all mixed up. Now we're gonna make our dressing. You can use one cup of mayonnaise. You can use one cup of Greek yogurt. The mayonnaise or the Miracle Whip, I like Miracle Whip. I know it's not good for you, but I like it. I'm using, um, three-fourths cup of Miracle Whip and a quarter cup of Greek yogurt. I'm trying to incorporate Greek yogurt more and more and getting rid of some of the other bad things in our diet. So a little bit at first. So I got a cup of, that's what's in here. Okay. And then we got three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. So I get that here too. Three tablespoons, that's gonna put a little spicy. A little wang. One, two, how many did it say? Three. Three tablespoons and two tablespoons. There we go. I'm trying to get it where you can see me. Hold on. <laughs> hey, a work in progress. That's better. The mayonnaise. And you can see the bowl. This is perfect. I had it too close. <laughs> so we got the mayonnaise, we got the um, apple cider vinegar. I need the sugar. Two tablespoons of sugar in there. Okay. And then this is gonna be our yummy dressing. I'm gonna use a fork to whip it up too. And then it says salt and pepper, and we're gonna pour it all over the top, and then we're gonna refrigerate it for at least an hour. The more chilled it gets, the better the ingredients mix together. See, that's just a nice dressing. Let's see, sugar and um, the vinegar, and then the mayo, it just makes a really yummy dish. So then, Okay, you know I gotta taste it. Let me at least taste it on the fork. I won't double dip or nothing, but. Mmm. Tastes really good. Tastes really good. It's got all that yummy stuff in it. Makes it just taste like sweet and tangy. 
Okay, now we're gonna pour this all on top of this broccoli. Mm -mm -mm. Are y'all ready for Christmas? Tell you, I, I can't believe it seemed like just yesterday I was on the boat. It seemed like just yesterday it was summer and we blink our eyes and it's Christmas, right? Amazing. The older you get, time does seem to just keep marching on quickly. <laughs> yeah, well, I hope you have a blessed Christmas. And I hope we keep it simple. Sometimes I think in the years when I was younger, I was way too stressed at Christmas. I spent way too much money at Christmas. I made Christmas a lot more about me instead of about Jesus. And so this year, we're having a very simple Christmas and go see our family in January instead of Christmas. And that's new for me. It's really new for me, but it seemed to work out for everybody the best. And we have our own business and we have to monitor, you know, coming and going with our business. And we figured out we'll have more quality time in January. So that's the plan. In the meantime, we're gonna enjoy Jesus and each other. We're gonna make lots of yummy food and go to our church services and just be happy. Every day is really Christmas because Jesus came and gave us himself. <laughs> And you know, I was talking to my daughter and I just, we were talking about her friend who went to be with the Lord unexpectedly, much younger than we thought, you know, she should or would. But um, I said, that's the joy of Christmas. With Jesus, we live forever because he came, because he died, because he rose again. Christmas brought us the greatest gift eternal life. And those in Christ, we don't really die. We just lay down this tent as a body and we go on to be of the Lord. And he promises eternity. That's awesome. Have a Merry Christmas. I am going to mix all this together and put it in the fridge and I'll serve some up in a ball later and tell you how it was. Give it a try. You'll love it.